So welcome back guys, my name is Amlan and in today's Make Much Free campaign we are about looking at certain audience queries that's been posted on our channel. Now many of you have complained that on the Redmi device when you try to remotely control that, you often get a finger cursor and which doesn't allow you to remotely control it, just more or less the screen that you get to see. But you don't get to control the screen or the apps on the Redmi. So that's why I'm making this tutorial today and let's look at the whole setup here. So here I have a Redmi Note 10 Pro Max with me and here I have a Samsung M31s. Now I want to control the Redmi phone, that's why I called this the target device. And using the Samsung M31s, I am, will be controlling and therefore I refer to Samsung M31s, the right side mobile, as the control device. So on the control device, you basically want to install the control app, the remote control from TeamViewer. And on the device that needs to be controlled, that is the target device, you need to install the TeamViewer Quick Support. This is what we have been saying so far. Let's do this. So I open this app here, it tells me to download something. I will forget this, skip this for some time. And I get something called as a partner ID. Now this is important because using this ID, my control device will be recognizing this device. I need not be in the same location. I need not be using the same internet. I've often helped my father who stays in a different city. So just letting you know a few of the common queries and the answers. So anyways, I open the remote control app and I need this ID. And once I can put in this ID, you will see I'm in a position to apply the remote control. Now what happens is I will be able to see Redmi and the way it should work is I should be able to control the device, right? It says that there's an incoming connection. Would you like the M31 device to do stuff? I say allow. And now, like it says, start now. So I can see the screen and everything. But now when I do this, you can see there's simply this, like, you know, this finger cursor. I click on gallery, nothing really happens. So it doesn't really work. Now, in case you're using a Oppo, you're using a Redmi, you're using a MI. This is something that happens and therefore you need to do nothing. You simply need to go to the Play Store and just go ahead and install Universal Add-on. So let me do one thing. Let me just close the connection first. For closing the connection, you just close the connection like this. Now I will just do this. I will on the target device. I basically want to have this Universal Add-on and I need to install this and let this get installed so there you go it's installed no issues and now what happens is when I go ahead and do the same thing again I open up the quick support it will give me the ID and now when I try to remote control it will ask me to enable basically the universal add-on so let's see if this works now so yeah, this is okay. And you can see that it wants me to activate the universal add-on. Now the way you do that is by first clicking on enable here. That doesn't really help. You go to more downloaded services and then here is the add-on from here. You go ahead and turn on the accessibility. It says that it will be able to now view and control the screen and perform actions. That's what we want, right? So now when we actually go back and we go here and we click on start now, so now you can see like I can not only see the screen and stuff like that. I can go ahead and play with certain things. So I can go ahead and tap on file manager. It enters. So this is what I meant, right? So when I was saying that I can do stuff, what I meant was I can go and do things. So this is now no longer the finger cursor. I can go ahead and uh, perform things. So I can tap on the play store and basically the play store is coming from here. So this is what you need to do and surely this will work for all things this is a universal add-on you can do this on a oppo on a mi on a redmi and stuff like that anytime you want to close the connection just expand this tap on this and you can close it so hopefully guys this helps and you don't need the same net connection you can do this across cities and even countries this should work everywhere it's a fantastic thing it's safe it's on the play store it has to be safe so no doubts on that but only use this when you really need it. When you don't need it, go ahead and close this remotely. In case you don't have touch support, then I think it's going to be difficult. But we'll be making a tutorial on that as well, on how you can do that. In case you want to know that, put down a comment and I shall more or less make that as well. So that's all for today, guys. In case this is helpful, subscribe to the channel, click on the bell icon for notifications. And I will... 
catch you in the next one and hopefully like in case you have some queries we will be making some solutions and pinning that to the pinned comment as well thank you